Welcome to or welcome back to my channel depending on when you're watching this video. Today we are back with another episode of my tiny adventure series in my Korea save file and we are following the lives of my K-pop idols INTL. We are at Incheon Airport about to get on the plane. Well, I mean we're getting mobbed <laughs> at Incheon Airport. It can get really uncomfortable when fans are just shoving their phone cameras in your face. But I mean their fans are just excited to see them. Um, so we don't have any ill will towards them at all. We just kind of wish they'd back up a little bit, give us some space, especially with everything that's been going on on this tour. Like if you guys watched the last episode, you would know that like some sasangs, which are stalker fans, sasang means like crazy stalker fan in Korean. We had some sasang show up to our hotel and it was just like really crazy. But it's okay because our girls know they're in good hands because of Mr. Jung Shi. He is our head of security. Mr. Jung will be accompanying the girls for the entire tour. They just finished up their concert in Seoul. It was amazing. They did great. Soman isn't with us today because she, right after the concert, had to hop on a plane to the States because she was invited to the Met Gala. But she's going to get on a flight to Japan and she will meet us over there. We are now on the plane. Ha Jung Nim is already knocked out. Sweet dream girls we will meet back up with you when we land in Japan It has been several hours later. We have arrived safely at the hotel we are staying at for four days. We're staying at the Amon Hotel here in Japan. And obviously, Mr. Jung is in the hallway keeping watch, making sure that the girls stay safe as they sleep. I'm gonna wake the girls up in just a second so they can get their morning started. But before I do that, I think it sounds like someone just arrived from the airport. <laughs> Our leader, the one and only Park So Min, is here. Mr. Jung just came in to tell Kwa Jang Nim that So Min has arrived. Since So Min has the privilege of being the first one up, I'm going to have her get ready first. Her and Jia are sharing a room. So Min is feeling nice and refreshed, but she's also a little hungry. So we're gonna go in her inventory and we're gonna open up our meal kit for Monday. We do love a nice smoothie in the morning. Let's get that going. Kwa Jang Nim, please let these girls have some actual food. <laughs> yeah, 바위처럼 말하지 마. 주영기 진짜. 알겠어, 언니. Think about family member. Sunny, why have you been so deep in thought lately? I guess she misses her family. Don't worry, just a couple more stops and we will be in LA. Meanwhile, Mr. Jung, could you please go and get the clothes dry cleaned? We are traveling. We only brought but so many things to wear. Um, okay, so the girls need to read these skill books and Sunny is saying she's too uncomfortable to do this right now. Do you know what's more uncomfortable? Falling off of a mountain and snapping your neck. We are filming another episode of the reality show, True TV. The concept for this episode is winter sports. So the girls will be doing all sorts of activities like skiing, snowboarding, sledding. Do any of them know how to do those activities? Well, I guess we are about to find out. Do not be alarmed by the person in the mask. This is just Kang Kwa Jung Nim. She hates the cold, so she's all bundled up, as is Mr. Jong. Actually, before we start doing anything i'm going to ask mr jung to kindly stand guard um let's act intimidating look at their outfits you guys don't they look so adorable they dressed all warm they're like snow bunnies today some took the concept a little further than others <laughs> sunny and summon are racing to the top of the slope let's see who gets there first come on sunny let's go victory i love how they're wearing the same outfit in different fonts so the first activity we are going to do is some skiing <laughs> she looks a little apprehensive yeah maybe you should have read those manuals like i asked you you too. Whoa! You got it, Summon! Ah! Sunny, no! Summon! And another one bites the dust. Jisoo, I'm so sorry. No! Our maknae! Careful, Jinju! No! 
a fan has now arrived at the slopes in heels nonetheless i'm sorry ma'am it is never that serious um kwajang neem can you please tell mr jung to just kindly shoo her away bye thanks for your support i don't want them to spend the entire time just wiping out so let's do something a little bit more fun let's do a fun little sledding competition why don't we so sunny let's hop on this slope and go sledding with jisoo meanwhile summon you can get on this slope and go sledding with jia let's see who's going to get to the bottom of the slopes first is it going to be team milk and honey great chemistry or is it going to be team oil and water a little less than great chemistry. <laughs> this team looks pretty confident already. Are you ready, guys? On your marks. Jumbi, she, Jack. Team Black is the winner. It's okay, Gia. At least you looked super cool in the front of that sled. <laughs> oh, look at these sentiments. Some man has about Gia. Fun in the snow. A little fun in the snow. As a reminder of the simple joys in life, someone wouldn't mind playing in the snow with Gia again sometime. And Gia has closer from happy memories. Oh, you guys, they're bonding. The girls are gonna get so much closer after this tour. I just know it. Memories. Hana, do set. Well, while we're up here anyway, let's try and do some snowboarding on the slopes. Let's do, ooh, let's do high intensity just for the heck of it. Do sunny fighting! So far, so good. Um, sir, excuse me. Well, I can't say I'm surprised. The sun is starting to set on this beautiful snowy day, so the girls have found themselves here at this beautiful looking traditional Japanese house because we are going to visit some very special friends. You're you're probably wondering who the owners of this gorgeous traditional Japanese house is and that would be the Hirai family. So this is Hirai Naviko and her mother Hirai Momoko. And yeah, they own this house, but who is Naviko? Well, Navi was a contestant on Produce 16, the same idol competition show that formed INTL. Fun fact, Navi was actually supposed to be in the debut lineup for INTL, but she decided at the last minute that that she wanted to follow her dream of acting instead of being an idol so she gave up that spot and because of that Jinju was able to join the team yeah Jinju was originally not going to be an INTL so you guys there is so much lore about like produce 16 and all of that I will get into that in another video I promise but speaking of produce right behind her is another ex produce 16 contestant Saito Yui she didn't make it to the final lineup but she was there and she she was friends with the girls and she heard that they would be coming to Japan so she came over to Naviko's house so that she can meet them. I should mention that Jinju is the only one that has like a decent level Japanese skill in the group. She's level 3. Um, I think Kwajang Nim is fluent. Let me, yeah, Kwajang Nim is fluent in Japanese so she can always help the girls translate. But I'm gonna have Jinju go and talk to Nabi. <laughs> ナビコ how is my Japanese, you guys? Please feel free to Nihongo Josumi in the comments. I'm still learning. Um, but anyway, I think we'll have Nabi come and serve the girls some tea, get some ramen in their belly, and we will catch up with you guys when we are on to our next activity. Nothing says bonding quite like an onsen. Naviko has taken the girls to the Sakura Onsen here in Japan, and we're here because we're going to relax and unwind. This was here at the entrance. I think the girls should all come and make some wishes, maybe some good luck for their upcoming concert. Let's have Sunny come over here and write a wish. It looks like we came here just in the nick of time because all of the girls are in desperate need of a shower. Jia, now is not the time to be shy. You guys literally live together. While the girls do that, let me show you around the men's quarters since there isn't really anyone over here right now. It's basically this, but like in much brighter colors. There's like a place for you to shower. 
and then there's a sauna i didn't build this lot by the way i should mention i got it off of the gallery so i will link it for you guys in the description down below if you are interested the vibes are immaculate this reminds me so much of like an anime you know like those hot springs episodes you guys emergency so gia just got a butt dial from jinju's phone she must have pressed the call button while she was sending it down jinju and jisoo are in the shower room right now and they're having a conversation that they have no idea jia is hearing unaware of the situation jisoo is gonna talk to jinju about something that she's been meaning to bring up for some time now so i think the two of them are going to just have a deep conversation hi maknae you know you're also a maknae yeah but i'm taller so i can get away with it so how's that crush going crush you're lucky you picked probably the most oblivious person in the universe but i'm not her so still you don't think it's weird uh unless you're talking about gia then no there's nothing weird about your crush uh this is awkward furthermore i think gia put that on speakerphone and what the heck is going on here is that a camera again tall tall police oh this is rich no so man we mustn't laugh at other people's misfortune Sunny scold her. Argue with your colleague about gossip. Yeah, if it were you, you wouldn't be laughing. I didn't laugh, I chuckled. Sunny, can you please have mercy and like call Jinju's phone so we can put an end to this? Pretend like this never happened. Just in the nick of time because Jinju is about to get into the hot springs. You guys, Sunny's face. Well, so, um. Oh, would you look at that? I think Kwajanin texted me. She wants me back inside. Um, I'm gonna go. No, Gia. Poor Makne. She has no idea what's going on. Someone is looking at Sunny like, how can you eat at a time like this? Watch me. It is the next day, and the girls probably should have been given some time to, you know, sort through that whole ordeal but unfortunately we're k-pop idols and we have lots of schedules to get to so all our personal matters will have to be handled at a later time before we get ready for the stage i wanted to maybe show you guys what a day in the life of a lovey attending an intl concert would be like so i'm going to introduce you to one of intl's fans hi i'm shohei and this is my k-pop idol concert vlog or whatever i'm gonna to show you guys my room because a lot of you guys in the comments say that it's aesthetic so yeah by the way i'm not flexing it's just you guys ask me about it so i'm gonna show it okay but first here's the fit no one asked but i'm going to give it to you anyway because slay so this is my bed um yeah we have like some pillows the intl bedspread of course um this cute thing that i don't even remember where i got it my whole room is k-pop idled out because i am obsessed and that's okay if you can't tell already my favorite color is blue yeah and then you have like this poster here that i got off of yes style then here you have obviously a silent voice this is the most saddest movie i've ever watched in my entire existence and yeah highly recommend 10 out of 10 and then moving on i'm gonna show you my desk so got my laptop and then my tablet and then all of this other stuff so first is my mouse pad the limited edition japan only exclusive intl mouse pad i was able to cop one online for pre-order and then my limited edition intl pencil case and it also came with the limited edition out of this world tour poster for japan exclusive release and my little cactuses they're fake and then this like weird random stuff i got off pinterest and then my out of this world tour my chanel sky dome poster i didn't go to that concert but i thought the poster looked cool so i bought it and then this poster here that's like very relatable my creme de la creme intl sweet album i'm sorry you guys but sweet has like one of the coolest packaging i have ever seen on an album personally i just think it's so aesthetic this is one of my k-pop shelves some albums up here that i just keep in their packaging because i don't want anything to happen to them and this little dog here thing it's from some random convention i went to i don't know what fandom is for but it's cute 
so it's here here you have my intl shrine um yeah my tutabong uh queen jisoo in the background my limited edition sunny intl figurine that's only exclusive to japan then my intl photo book uh, I have all of the fan cards. I'm waiting on them to release more. Honestly, personally, I think Sunny and Gia got so snapped. Also, so men. Like, we need more fan cards of them. Packaging for my Tutabong. And then the Sour album. I know it just came out, but I don't have it, like, that much on display. Because I like the packaging, but it just doesn't go with my aesthetic as much as the Sweet album does, personally, in my opinion. And then below that, you have, like, my manga collection. And then over here is the rest rest of my k-pop album collection i just put some of my figurines on the shelf because i thought they matched and some things just are meant to be put on display and then another sky poster over here you're probably asking oop me again um you're probably gonna ask like who my old group is and that's definitely kind of obvious it's between sky and intl but since i'm literally going to an intl concert today um i'm literally having boiled eggs for breakfast because i'm poor i don't even have a microwave like i spent all of my money buying k-pop merch but it's fine i'll just eat some cds like intl L does every performance bone apple beef so i finished breakfast and i'm literally just here at the konbini because i need to pick up a couple of things okay i'm gonna be honest the main reason i came down here is to get the intl light novel that just came out exclusive only in japan and yeah the first volume is out i don't know how many volumes there are gonna be but i had to come and pick one up for myself you guys look at this isn't this the cutest thing you've ever seen in your entire life i think that's supposed to be gia on the front cover anyway I am going to buy this and then spend literally the whole morning reading it. Now feeling absolutely inspired by that invigorating piece of literature, I'm going to sit down and finish writing this Sunmin fanfic for AO3. Now it's time to get dressed and go queue in line and wait for tickets because I waited to the last minute like an absolute fool but here is the fit. Uh, I chose to wear this shirt today because I wanted to stand out, you know, be a little different. My shirt says Gia number one. Um, yeah, I'm Gia biased. Oops, can't show the feet for free. Psych, just kidding. I threw this ugly hoodie over it because it is below freezing outside. Look, I stand INTL but the next time you girls throw a concert in the middle of winter, it's wraps for you just kidding <laughs> no i'm not so yeah now i'm at the stadium i got my concert ticket and i'm inside and i'm waiting and i'm so excited because oh my god intl um so yeah uh i'm not gonna film the entire concert because who has the battery life for that not i anyway bye see you in intl <laughs>
the performance, wasn't it? INTL always give it their all. I hope all love yous are showing their love and support for us, just like Shohei. And with that, we're going to end this episode here, you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and a comment down below. Tell me what you thought of this one. Also, hit that subscribe button. It helps out the channel. And if you want to be notified of whenever I upload, hit that bell icon to receive post notifications. I have a ton of content coming up for you guys, and you don't want to miss out. Don't forget to follow INTL on their official Twitter account. And if you want to join the Milky Way fan club, INTL's official fan club, that tier will be available on my Patreon. Link down below. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Oh, my God.